sorting myself out, guys. Give us a sec. It's Monday, Monday, Monday. Can someone do a level check for me? Am I too loud, too quiet? Or just right? Somewhere in the middle. I'm digging this music, by the way. Mm. Craig, hello! How's it going, sir? Guard, Prince, hello! Ex Ghost, hi, 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 hi! A little quiet. Let's see what we can do. How about now? Crazy loud! Craig, have you been cooking up something yummers today? Yes, I am sporting my Movember Tash as well. And uh, yeah, my ears are getting abused by this chip tune music from the Spectrum. I have to admit, it's probably one of the more grating sounds I've had to endure today. But we'll see how it goes. And I should start with the official welcome. Oh, Craig, by the way. Mm -mm -mm. I's got some Pringles right here. Might just have one of those. I tell you what, once you pop, you can't stop. It's true. Oh, what? Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, so good. And it's the best flavour as well. Christmas. Mmm, mmm. Right. I'm going to try to turn down the mixer settings of the music for the game. And I'm going to sh show you how much. So. so, this is running in the web browser from jbacteriaretrolandia.net. And I've actually got the volume of the web browser turned kind of as low as possible. It's just horrible. But I'm going to post the link in the chat. So you now all know where I'm hanging out. So you can choose some games for me to try. Hmm. So, Craig, go get some smacks. Mike, you... Mike, gentleman and a scholar. You're looking for trouble. Oh, and you're enjoying a nice cup of tea, says Jack Gerard. Oh, uh, Gerard. Sorry. Ger Gerhard. Sorry. It's, it's, look, it's one of those days. I've got an headache. Let's try some Spectrum games, shall we? Oh. How do you start? Oh, there we go. And if you're on the Discord, I'm going to be in the Discord stream as well. But if you join me in the stream, please make sure you silence any YouTube you're watching. Because it won't like it. Not one job. Right. Alert. Fantasyland falls into crisis now. Get ready. Mm. Oh, it's like a level select. Zero polis. Okay, left, right, up, down, shoot, no, up, where's down? Ah, where is, no, no, cock. So I figured out some of the keys. Up, right. By all convention, the button I'm pressing for down should be bloody down. All right, K is down, colon is up. Bizarrely. I suspect that's something to do with Spectrum keyboards, of course. What? Bruh. That is crazy. These keys are crazy. It's literally... I've got... I'm pushing ZX, K, 
and colon. So all of my fingers are in like a horizontal line. I feel I'm going to get used to this and then it's going to be terrible. But look, actually, to be fair, this isn't the worst looking game of Space Harrier. I mean, if you've seen the Space Harrier on the Amstrad CPC, it was kind of almost like wireframe or something. It's pretty damn good. But does anybody know any good Spectrum games, which would say, you know, which would be the defining game of a sister system so we can try that and like, otherwise, we're going to try stuff like this and go, yeah, it's all right. It's not great, but people always like to defend the ZX Spectrum. So it's like, okay, which, which games should we, should we play? Which are the best, the best of the best? The same games that Clive Sinclair used to play back in the day. And a little bit later, actually, not too too long later, I will. Uh, I've got a little bit of Clive Sinclair um, gossip to share with you. Something interesting that just uh, a conversation I had, a serendipitous conversation re re uh, recently, where someone um, I know actually had new new Clive Sinclair and Chris Curry back in the day. So I'm going to obviously be probing them a lot on their experience. Oh, wow! Look at this! Uh, floating Fat Man, I don't know if I hate the Spectrum. I mean, it's I like to give it cr crap because I don't... I, it's the hardware, right? I really... There's a lot about the hardware I don't like. But, you know, live and let live, eh? That's what I always say. I think I'm going to I'm going to find Zoinks in the Discord and tell him to join. Join us. Um Wow, that Space Crusade graphic looks pretty awesome though to be fair. Right, how do we actually get into it? I'm quite impressed with the music though. That's not bad, was it? Okay, so the mouse Hang on, left, right, down. Oh, the keyboard mapping is crazy though. Okay, K N. It's got lo it's got lots of like mapped parts on the keyboard, but I can I could do that. Select chapters. Okay. Blood angels. And it's got this is quite realistic how it's moving this cursor. Set up. Oh, there's loads of stuff you could do here. Oh, I just want to hit start. Let's see if start works. Right, so Floating Fat Man says, I've got a good idea for a specky. Take out the board, clean it up, and put the board and case side by side in a display case. Jetpack Willy, Mike says. Mike, Jetpack Willy, is that like a, a crossover game? Walk. How do we do the walk in? Oh. Okay. Cancel. I think I think we almost need instructions at this point. I managed to walk one step, which is pretty lousy, wasn't it? So can I just click like there? Yeah. It's almost like you're committed to keep walking. It's not like a XCOM UFO where you can just walk a few steps, but at least it's quite nice at least highlighting some of this stuff. And what it's doing, I don't know if you're aware, when I'm clicking on something, it's moving the sort of mouse cursor down to the relevant area, which is really cool. I mean, that's saving you quite a lot of effort on the old keyboard. <laughs> Fair Fight 14, hi. Floaty Fat Man says, please don't talk about Andrew's Willy. And where is uh, Mr. Dalton this evening? If anybody knows, please feel free or ping him on Discord and say, come on, Andrew. You love the spectrum. It's all we want to talk about. So I guess that's end turn. Yes, it is. I don't think Jetpack Willy was a game, Mike. I think you're thinking of two separate games. I think you're thinking of um, Jet Set Willy and Jetpack. Mothership Como, secondary mission, message reads, destroy lone android on board, press fire. So we have a lone android, bless, that we're trying to destroy. 
Does it do push scroll? No push scroll. You have to click on the little doodads, but that's not bad. I have to I have to admit, I think this is quite convincing, really. Ooh, can you turn though? I don't think you can turn in Space Crusade, like. Aye, aye lad, Space Crusade. Oh. Mr. Prince says, what about Arkanoid? Arkanoid is a very good game. We will be trying that. And then uh, Winsome Hack says, Jetpack, Jetpack Willy, Manic Miner, Sabre Fox, Chunky Egg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Maniac Miner, sorry. <laughs> Chunky egg. What else? <laughs> Raptin. I remember Raptin on the BBC. I love playing Raptin. Space. No one can hear you scream. Come on. This is not like one of the most exciting games I have to admit to be playing in a stream, but you know, it's it's not bad. So um, I hope you've all had a good day. I mean, that's that's something we usually talk about is, is people's days. We don't we don't have anyone on the Discord to sort of join in just yet. Let's see if anybody. Come on, Andrew. Where's Miss Mr. Dalton? I'm I'm typing. I'm typing in Discord because we want Andrew Dalton on here. Come join us in the audio. We want you. I have to admit, though, to be fair to Andrew, it is always a little bit um, last second. And it's a bit of a an imposition for me to say, come on, get online. Right, so let's try some of these suggestions. Suggestions. So uh, Jetpack Willy. Let's see then. Control F. Because this is a web browser I'm in. Oh, no, I want to be in this web browser. Control F. Jet. What? What? Fine. No, find. I'll just scroll. There's a little list just off to the left hand side of the screen that I'm scrolling through to let you know what I'm up to. Um, Jetpack. Oh no, this is a different game. Right. Oh, sh there's so many um, Jet Set Willies, by the way. And some are really rude. <laughs> That's amazing. There, uh, there's, there's rude Jet Set Willies, believe it or not, with swears in the title. Uh, we might try one of those later, but I want to kind of keep this family friendly. I've um, recent my kids are, are watching a lot of YouTube now, and I, I kind of oh my gosh, there's about two million Jet Set Willies. If you don't believe me, have a look at that link. I'll, uh, you know, I should paste it back again. Um, right, we're willying. So Flaking Fat Man says he's had a long and irritating day getting mugged by some Angular code that refuses to work. I tell you what, today was a harsh day, wasn't it? And I've got a bit of headache. I've got headache today. Oh, what? Someone hasn't cracked this one? All right, let's keep going. Some Eventually someone will have... My God. Oh, my life. There's no, look, I'm having it on volume level one. Volume level one, and that's too bloody uh, loud. Christ, I hope it's bearable for you guys at home, but. Right. I used to like Manic Miner, I have to admit. Uh-oh, Jet Set Willy was not my. Okay, there's about 200 jump buttons. Every button so far has been jump. Can you have a walk, please? <laughs> Something seems to be... Ah, okay, here we go. Pinnacle of British computing here. Cock. This is not going to be annoying at all. Oh, great. <laughs> it's just as good as I remember it, really. 
it's starting to all come back to me on why I love the Spectrum um, so much. You've got this brilliant music. I mean, look at this. What are you even supposed... Is that, is that a trap? Oh, no. It's a walk. Shit. Shoot. Yes, it has it, it's had its beep generator. Yeah, boy! Now I'm rocking. Is that fire or is it a conveyor belt? Watch the pirouetting rabbit. I peeked too soon. Is it? I think it's a hare, actually. Axe Battler, I love it. I love the Spectrum. Everybody knows I'm a fan of the Spectrum. It's my favourite system. I've got, like, at least two of them. I'm just looking over. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Did you see today's today's video, actually? I've got a, um, a whole box more of Spectrum games. I mean, some of them are doubles. Yeah! Look at that. Um, oh, Oh, bugger. It's like, if you get to this point, by the way, you're, you're done anyway. There's nothing to do there. Um, so I've got the um, another double of Oh Mummy. But what I'm wondering is, it, did the Spectrum come with all those games? Because some of the titles look really familiar. They they, they kind of, it's the same titles over, oh, over and over again. But I'm prepared, of course, if anybody wants to do a trade... I will trade my box of Spectrum. How do you get up something? Oh, come on. <laughs> there you go. I will uh, trade my um, box of Spectrum games for anything else. How about a box of MSX cartridges? There you go. I don't know. It's not... I think I'm, I think I'm scarily enough getting skills in this game. Now, I was watching Chinny the other day, and he had a good game. I think it might have been on the, um, cock. CPC. Where it's like you're in a cave, and you're going down in a cave or something like that. That's about as much detail as I can offer you. Oh, it's a trap, isn't it? That, that's a trap. Hey, Baza! Zaza, 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 Fair Fight has suggested Turbo Esprit. And I've just got to choose anything just to, so it doesn't play that music. Right, Turbo Esprit. God, there's so many titles for this bloody machine. Turbo. Okay, we're nearly there. Turbo, Turbo. Turbo Turmoil, Turbo Esprit. There we go. Oh, Fairfight says you'll, tr you'll trade some it with me, like. Are you sure? For those terrible, terrible, terrible games. <laughs> Gary Pinkett. Somebody needs to get Gary Pinkett into here. I've just realised that we haven't spoken to Gary for a while. I'm going to see if I can get him in there. Let's get him here. Come in, Gary. Come in. Right. So... Turbo Esprit, and this looks like it's got like realistic graphics. Let's do it. Oh my gosh. Oh, so they'll give you a hundred pounds if you uh, grass on someone. And remember, though, snitches get stitches. Okay, left. Right. Fire. Map. Right. Let's do this. Endro Racer. Baza will try Endro Racer soon. Oh, my life. Where am I? Am I that little black car? How am I both... First person and third person perspective simultaneously. Right. Well, I'm I'm holding what I thought is the. F I thought I was holding the fast button, but I don't know. Maybe not. We blasted through the intersection. 
Look at this go. Drug car seen on N18. Hang on, what what is this? What was the rules of this game? I thought it was a race game. This is more like a police game. Mm, twice the value, says Axe Butler. Two perspectives at one. Let's not try to lose perspective here, guys. So uh, yeah, anyway, my uh, my day was a, a long and terrible day, but made probably made worse. It was actually pretty good most part. But I had uh, an headache today because I could I could smell a funny smell after lunch, and then you're going, what is that smell? It it's familiar yet can't quite put my nostril on it, and. Uh, and then by the end of the day, when I add me a date, look, there's there's a whole map. I don't know if you can see if we can figure out how to turn then on the next one. Um, okay, so there's an intersection. Uh, no, no, that's no good. Um, you had to get the bad guy, says Fairfight. So this is a bad guy hunting. Can you go backwards, though? Oh, look, it's got proper traffic lights. Oh, he's even indicating cute that's quite cute isn't it um so yeah I, I figured out what that smell was and it was paint someone who had been painting up the uh, corridors of back office manor and uh yeah give me a bloody headache like a migraine a very early gta like game well it's certainly a very early type of game i'm really starting to see the full potential of the zx spectrum here I mean, they were creative, weren't they? You can't... Oh, there's Turrican. All right, look, look. There's some actual real games now, like Turrican. Look at that. Now that looks good, doesn't it? That's that's proper, that is. Edwin says he has a new doorstop. When did you get it? Is it a ZX80, an 81, or a Spectrum? You've got lots of choices of doorstop when it came to Sinclair products. Oh, dear. Is it written in basic? Turrican didn't work. Turrican 2. Oh, it's a Spectrum, really? <laughs> and Craig says, was that driving game Forza? Ah, we have a bit of music. I could be encouraged to put up the volume a tiny bit more if it's not annoying. Keyboard. Then let's go. This is pretty impressive music. New in box, not used. Wowie! Axe Butler, I'm sure you're right. Absolutely, it, it, you can't play a game for two minutes and then you know be frustrated by it if it doesn't work out for you. Um, I might try uh, some of these games and play them on the an actual Spectrum if um, some of them look half decent. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's do this. It's such a brave attempt, isn't it? Can you think if if they spent a bit more effort and just had a little bit tiny more budget to get the colours right, how how cool this would have been? You know, no, this this would have been like uh, how do you jump? How do I? Oh yeah, okay. Woohoo! It's even got that you know thing. That was some jump, right? It's like literally halfway across the whole map. So yeah, if it didn't have the lame colours, I think it would have been a, a totally different system, really. Um, do you think, in the if those in the chat, do you think the Amstrad CPC 464 was what the ZX Spectrum should have been? Because they kind of feel to me to be kind of similar platforms. Or maybe the um, TRSAT Coco, something like that. Axe Butler says, Dr. Air, could I request Cobra? Cobra man. Edwin says, Are you playing in an emulator? Yes, Edwin, we are playing in an emulator. And I'll just reload the page. It's uh, J. Je Bacterier. And um, I'll post it into the actual chat and into the description of the whole channel so that anybody who wants to see what um, 
I'm playing. They've got the list there, and you can tell me what to play. Now, what was that request? Axe Butler wanted to request Cobra. Cobra Man. So, uh, yeah, there's this, uh, as I say, lovely lady I know, and she worked for Clive Sinclair and uh, Chris Curry um, back in the day when they're both at Sinclair. Wasn't that amazing? Before, of course, Chris Curry went off on his own way and uh, set up uh, Acorn with Herman Hauser. Herman Hauser, who sounds like a um, very much uh, sort of uh, character that Arnold Schwarzenegger would play. Or maybe it's a bad guy. I hope, oh, I think I said yes to both of those. I said no, but that's fine. Let's do this. Oh, wow, look at that. The writing in the bottom bit is all backwards. Very edgy. Okay, goodbye, ears. I think I need to turn down the sound again. Right, so this is Cobra. Cobra, dude. Okay, so how do we actually fight? Ah, there's a. F I don't know what the fight button is. And it's not space. Could it be Z? Actually, I'm assuming you fight. Maybe just escape. It's certainly an uh, interesting game so far. Is that a fight? No. I'm just working my way through. Oh, hang on. I think that's fight because it's headbutt. Is that right, guys? Anybody in the chat who plays this? Do you just basically go around headbutting people? Because I can do that with my woman next to me. Hmm. Boom. Boom. Look at that. He's aggressive, isn't he? I'm wearing, by the way, my Movember ZX Spectrum beard to celebrate, of course, the correct facial hair of the time. And I know you all appreciate the efforts I put into these streams. Oh, I got a gun now. Oh, yeah. Woo I actually am quite liking this already. Hmm. Satisfying. I guess... Um, Spectrum games generally, if it's got a joystick um, element, so if you've got an option of the Kempston joystick, etc., um, the keys are going to be pretty simple, right? Because you're just going to have up, down, left, right, and shoot. So you should be able to find them on the keyboard eventually. Why am I killing prams? And how do I eat the hamburgers? <laughs> And what are you supposed to do? Oh! Axe Butler says, you seem to be invincible. Don't know if it's because you hacked the hamburger. It's because I uh, accidentally hit the, uh, the thing that gave me the, you know, infinite, infinite stuff. Oh, yeah, Micro Men is fantastic. It's probably one of my favourite. Oh, hello, visitor. Hello, visitor. What am I doing? I am playing games, but it's a bit too late for you to play games. How was your disco? Good. Good. What did you do at your school disco? Dance. Dance. Nice. Show me a dance move. Go on. Let's see one. I didn't learn one yet. Oh, okay. Can you show me the floss? Yeah. Yeah. That is a really good floss. I think that's the only dance move you need. High five. Bang. Go on. Go inside our fun. Right. So, what game is this? This game is called Coliseum. Oh. I'm going to play it with some teclados. Face Vidas. Oh, 
Oh, it looks lame already. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't know actually. What do you think of this game? Oh, I love that graphics. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, no, I got splatted. Is this as good as Nintendo Switch? Yes. Yeah? Do you want to swap it for your Nintendo? Oh, look at that. It's it's like a brave attempt. It's a brave attempt, isn't it? I wonder though, what are the late the very latest and best titles on this platform? I'll give you an example. Let's say towards the end of the Spectrum's um, run, there was like, I don't know, oh no, the um, Amiga. And then you think, okay, what was on the Amiga uh, that you could get on, you know, on both platforms effectively? I do like Laser Squad. I don't think I've tried the Spectrum one, so I really do want to have a quick go at it. It's obviously one of my favorite games. Dustin is in the house. Dustin, yeah, you missed, you're missing an uh, impressive flossing. So when did you learn the floss? When was that from? I don't think I can do it. I can't do it here. I haven't got much room here. You only get to see my, my crotch here, but um, yeah, yeah. How's that? Is that right? Yeah. Good, pretty perfect, isn't it? I play Fortnite. Right. <laughs> no, Dustin, you're not. You're so lucky the camera only you know, fits in that limited aspect of my torso here. Right, let's have a quick go. Laser squad. I mean, it must have been really interesting playing with everything with keys back in the day. I mean, did um, was there sort of standard keys on the Spectrum? Because the BBC Micro, they used to have favorites where it was I think ZX star and colon or something oh this is quite nice yeah, like you learned to floss when the career in NASA wasn't going to work out oh. Alex did you fart go on off you go <laughs> Sorry, there's a there's a vapor in here, and a vapor that only a a young man can can leave. Select. Look at this. Is, this is probably one of the most convincing experiences of Laser Squad. It's almost like this platform's made for it because if you see what they've done with the colours here, you don't get that same effect of colour clash because you know clearly they've um, designed it all around single colour sprites, um, and the the, the Actual keys play really good. This is one I think would be quite nice. I'm, I always like Laser Squad and these sorts of games, and I've always got on the Game Boy Advance and stuff, um, Rebel Star and whatever Tom Clancy stuff, whichever emulates this really. Um, but it's a real cracking game. If you haven't played uh, Rebel Star or Laser Squad, I really advise that you do. It's, it's, I'm trying to think what genre it is. It's the same genre as XCOM UFO. Uh, both made, all made really by Julian Gollop. Um, one enemy, right. Where's the enemy though? Okay, let's see if we can spot that enemy you can see somewhere. Can't be too near, can it? Oh, all the way down there. That enema, public enema, public enema. Boom, 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 boom. Ah, always with the action points. I should think though. Um, oh, Mike says Chucky Egg. Yoshi doesn't want to go back to work. Go back to work. To Mordor, we will take you. So on and so forth. I think we have to have at least one uh, go at um, shooting that robot before we give up here. Oh no! One, that was an amazing death. But two, Axe Butler said you have to equip the guns. Yes, you do. Damn it! 
it's not just that we have to equip the guns. We have to remember to... Um, how do I do it? Hang on. Uh-oh. How do you equip the guns? Scan or... Scan or works, but... Hang on. So we can select him. Um, info. Okay. I think they didn't have the option for for doing the gun because I don't think they've got the guns. I don't think these are bloody armed. I think I've totally skipped the bit where you have to arm them. Okay. Right. Chucky egg then exolon exolon. Chucky egg. Chucky egg. I just saw elite flash pass, believe it or not. Chucky I don't see Chucky. C H There's no Chucky egg here. Have a look in the list. You tell me if you can find that one. If you can, then we'll give it a go. But we'll try and look for Exololon. But you know it's weird. You know what is really cool? I was thinking about this the other day. When you think of the NES, right? The games on the NES were pretty spectacular through its whole run. They used to play Super Mario 3 and stuff like that. You've really got to kind of appreciate it for what it was, really. It's a pretty good machine. And I always wonder, how did... How was it so good compared to... Oh, that's how you do it. Go on then, start. How is it so good compared to a lot of things? Is it because it really just lasted for ages and ages and they spent a lot of time developing it? Or was it really that the hardware in it was just that good? Okay, up. Well, I thought it was up. Where the hell? So far, so pants. Okay, was that right? Is there a shoot? This is terrible. Who suggested this? Fair fight. Come on, fair fight. What are you making me try here? I can't even figure out a shoot. Look at the, the, the timing steps between games. That was it. Let's try that again. What do you mean that's not the game you said fair fight? That's it. Exolon. <laughs> Exolon. Oh, right. Okay, fair enough. Not Exolon. Exolon from Houston. So Flaking Fat Man says, Ninty were very focused on quality games. Whereas the home computer mark was mostly schoolboy coders. Yeah, maybe you're right. Let's try left, right, jump, duck, fire. Okay. Oh, this looks good. Oh, I um, when I was at university, a friend there... Look up the game Ethnipod. He's, he wrote a game called Ethnipod. So that might be in the list. If it is, we'll try it as a, an homage. Hang on, how am I not even able to get past this bloody thing? Boom! That's why. Hold down fire to shoot a rocket, says Zebra Dress. Just in time, actually. Boom! Castado! Castado, we're trying um, MSX beating systems. That's the title of today's stream. Oh, I do, I do like that effect actually. That's quite nice. Boom. Boom. Shake, shake, shake the room. Tick, tick, tick. Uh oh. Cockpish. What is that thing then? Ah, teleportation. Yeah, I guess the small gun is for those. Oh. Bring it. Bring it and I'll butter it. Shove it in the toaster. 
and I'll waffle it. Look at this. Look at this craziness. Ah, come on. Yeah, the orbs. The orbs are trying to get me. There we go. The orbs have stopped. I think I'm I'm get getting how this game works. Bugger. That was some. I, I I'm gonna blame the uh, collision detection on that one. Oh, for f f yeah, MSX beating systems, Castardo. So systems that produce better games, better graphics, better a whole better experience, better keyboard than say a Hitbit. And uh, of course, ZX Spectrum is pretty much leader in the field. I do joke, of course. And I, I still haven't actually played an MSX game, so that's something I need to play. I mean, I have played some that Rob uh, Taylor gave me, but Rob, uh, they were really Spectrum ports. They just, they looked like Spectrum games. And, yeah, oh, what? <laughs> Stupid keyboard. Um, this sounds familiar, by the way, as well. Everyone's a Wally. This sounds really familiar. Was this on the Commodore 64 as well? I think there might have been a C64 port of Everyone is a Wally. Oh, it's so loud. Press key 4 to start. So Castardo says, Well, unfortunately, the Specky isn't better than the MSX and I am a Spectrum fan. Oh, are you sure? Right, so I've got one button that just does a right hand jump. In fact, every button on the keyboard so far is producing a right hand jump. Oh, yeah, that's better. There we go. Now we're cooking. So this game certainly doesn't um, suffer from any attribute color clash at all. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to put up with games now. Oh, so Bazzi says you, you used to love this game. Hmm. So Bazza, what are you supposed to do in Everyone's a Wally? Are you, um... There's some arrows, of course. And I don't, what are these numbers? You see that 0002M? Is that supposed to be miles? Meters? Is it just going to keep going up and up and up and up and up and up and up forever? I suspect so. No, 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 no. Oh, you've got. It's like Zelda. You've got a few different lives. Zabaza, maybe you don't remember it because although it was your favourite game, you really didn't play it for very long. I and mean, that's, that's possible, isn't it? I mean, realistically, what time would you get home from school? Like 3.34, then you'd have tea, five or six, pretty much bath and bed, isn't it? Ah, so Costado says the MSX hardware was pretty capable, but it was lazy spectrum ports that made it look kind of naff. We all know about lazy ports, like all those lazy ports that were ported from the Amiga to the Atari ST. <laughs> oh God, the titles here are not inspiring. I mean, they sound so good. Right. There's one here called Fall Guy. Oh my gosh, it is based on the Fall Guy. Okay, that sounds worth trying. Oh, look at that. Hey, hey! I love the Fall Guy. I really love this show. It plays a bit of Fleetwood Mac when you die. Okay, so I found Pause and I found Run. I quite like the running animation. It's got a decent amount of it. But unless I can find Jump loads of loads of pauses I don't know if the spectrum was like this or if it's just 
this emulator where they've just mapped loads and loads of different variants of the keys. <laughs> Chain, keep us together. Never in the shadows. Oh my god. Right, left, right. We've got that. <laughs> Zebra just says this game is just awful. I think you're right. Let's leave it alone. Come on, what was the best game? The best game on the system? There must have been one. It's like, what was the final overlap? You know, like, it's really weird. Was it like Robocop or something? You know, like where you'd. I'll just choose anything else that's quiet. Um, you know how um, it'd be like one of those last pack-ins on the very last Christmas of the Spectrum, and it would have had some title that when you see it now, you're really surprised because it was it was there overlap with that? Oh, hello! Down, 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 down. There's a lot of commando action. Axe Battler definitely wants to see commando. One or two players. Player one, choose. Oh no. Oh no, I can't seem to move the thing. Uh huh. Use cursor keys and space. Nope, it's crap. Okay, we have to do bloody commando, otherwise Axe Butler's gonna get annoying. Annoyed. Commando, commando. Well, I see two commandos. It says Commando Quattro and Commando Tracer. Oh no, wrong thing. Here we go. It looks lame, Axe Battler. So everybody, this is the game that Axe Battler wanted. That he was begging. He's been begging for like half an hour. Play Commando, play Commando. Oh my life, what is this? Poids Disponsible. My points disponsible! Impossible! That is terrible. That is terrible. Axe Butler, you've got the list of games there. you got to tell me. Is it there? I don't see it there. This is like a French game. <laughs> Castado, it's in the list, but I'm going to post the list of the games. Zoinks! This is for you, man. Everybody. Kevin Lee is in the house. Just say, ooh, ooh, because he has inspired me to give the ZX Spectrum the love it deserves. And if there's anybody, um, if there's anybody who will know what is the best game to play on the ZX Spectrum, it is him. He's going to choose the game of the evening. The one game that we'll just keep playing because it is the best game, literally. And while he's thinking about that, we're going to have a go at Chase HQ. Because Chase HQ's seriously got to be good on anything, hasn't it? It's even got decent music. Keyboard, four. Oh, I should have done Define Keys. Okay, cool. Let's do Define Keys. Uh, I don't like there's a gear. Okay gear accelerate brake left right quit pause turbo right keyboard is four look at this boing press gear to play right it's happening guys it's happening Oh, don't forget the Spectrum curse keys are 5, 6, 7, 8. That's really useful to know now, actually. Thanks for that, Kevin. Now, you tell me if you want to hear the music or sound louder. I can do that. So far, I'm pretty impressed. 
Yeah. I think the cars might be a little bit... Hmm. I thought they might be translucent, but I think it's just an artifacting effect here. The pinnacle of British home computing. It does have quite a nice high-res sort of style display then. I'm guessing this is one of the more high-res graphics modes. Okay, we're doing it. Where's that bad guy? We're on this unmade up road. It's a shortcut. I can't I can't service the chat guys. Whatever's going on in there, it's all down to you. You'll have to self-moderate because this is proper police action. Oh, is that turbo? Was that no, that's just gear. Damn it. Ah! Oh, yeah. It's trying, though, isn't it? It's bloody trying. It's an amazing little port. It sounds like an aeroplane trying to take off. I mean, I had this on the Atari ST, and it had all the same, you know, effectively the same elements. The thing all the versions had though, you see when the car turns left and right, it just moves a tiny amount. It's almost like it's trying to fit it in the same sprite. I always thought that was a bit lame. But yeah, that was okay. Let's get moving, man. So d there's some more suggestions there. So Kevin says, Deus Ex Machina. Obviously, the early prequel predecessor to those later PC games we all love but I'll give it a go oh what was that I've got to reload that it's... wow scary face it's... automata UK limited oh presents oh it's like you got to watch it to thing Ian Jury John Pertwee Donna Bailey and Frankie Howard. <laughs> this is a weird old game, isn't it? Right. Okay. Keyboard. Now listen to side one and pause the player upon the voice's request. When the countdown is this event, press the S key. This is weird. Maybe I can't even do it. Okay. Oh no, Kevin. So if this is a sort of multimedia experience, how the devil are we supposed to play it? Oh, there's a thing. What is that? It's like a rat. A dirty, scary rat. Oh no, Kevin. Now, now I'm going to have to get a copy of this. If anyone's got a, a spare copy, let me know. And I shall try it in a real spectrum. Oh, but I will try this because I've seen this on like a couple of tapes now. And it was in that box of tapes um, earlier. And I'm going to show you some of those. One moment. Bear with me. <clears throat> Horace goes a mugging. Oh, right, so you play the game in real time. That sounds... It was quite novel then. It would have been a novel game for the time. So, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Is that dusty, musty box of tapes from earlier. So if you haven't seen it, watch that video a bit later and then you can tell me which one um, you're interested in. But something I noticed, there's a lot of tapes in this sort of style packaging. Yeah? And uh, that's Disco Dan, which is what we're looking at right now. And I, I kind of suspect, and it's kind of like Oh Mummy and Punchy and games like that. I suspect these were like the standard games that came with the Spectrum. You know, like not for resale in the box games. But you tell me if I'm right or wrong on that. I have that feeling. They have that, they have that vibe about them. 
Right, Disco Dan time. Let's do it. Ah! Goodbye, ears. I think that's a, a volume level one game. Let's turn that right down to I2. Whatever. Right. Okay. There to your disco, Dan. It seems like one of those sort of line runner game things going on. I like how this sort of... It's a bit like... Um, a lame version of uh, Antarctic Adventure. Castardo knows what I'm talking about there. No! Hang on a minute. So, if you press uh, two keys at once, like left or right, and jump, it won't jump. So, you've got to uh, be a bit cautious on that. This looks like it was coded in basic, doesn't it? Diarrhea Dan. What was Diarrhea Dan from? Come on, tell me. So, Andrew says he used to play Disco Dan on the, t on the sort of Tatung Einstein. And Bazza says a treasure trove of tapes. Yes, indeed. Uh, Edwin says try Cyberball. James. Hey, James. Well, James, would you have had these in the US? These amazing systems? You'd have been playing on your Tandy Coco by now. You should have been making this look like a pile of crap. <laughs> and you're an Apple too. <laughs> I don't know, that's not bad, is it? That's doing all right. Oh, wow, look at that. That's some proper graphics, that is. One, two. This is some crazy... Hit him with your spunky gun. <laughs> Right, let's let's. I think it's a puzzle game. Disco Dan, he's the man. This is terrible. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I wonder if there's a walkthrough. I might need that. It's a bit like Breath of the Wild, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, actually, yeah, because we said about um, we said about Rebel Star, right? Rebel Star. I don't know. Is Rebel Star, in your opinion, better? And I've got. I just got to turn this off. Is Rebel Star better, in your opinion, than Laser Squad? Anybody in the chat? I mean, I'm, I'm just looking in the list, see if it's in there. Rebel Star. I think Laser Squad though came after the Rebels. Rebel Star, but we'll have a look. Maybe we'll. Yeah, look, this is. Definitely came after this. Rebel Star was like the progenitor. Because even, even the graphics look a lot more simplistic, don't they? And the keys, doing my head in. They're terrible. Yeah, no, Rebel Star is definitely. Laser Squad's better than Rebel Star, for sure. Oh, you gotta play uh, um, Laser Squad Zebra Dress. It's definitely, um, it's definitely a lot better. Come on, Rebel Star is a lot better. Um, I'm wondering if there was a RoboCop. There's a Return of the Jedi. Well, I'm looking for RoboCop there. Rick Dangerous. This is gonna be lame, but let's have a go. <laughs> Press trigger to continue. Oh my word! This was in the arcade in in Blackpool. It didn't work. Did anyone else have a go at it? It didn't work for me. Yeah, now we know what we're doing. Da 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 da. da. Oh, I like. I'm liking this. This is not bad at all. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, look at the Ewoks. Can you jump then? How do you... I'm trying to figure out how do you lure them into those Ewok traps. Oh, cock. <laughs> oh, 
Oh no. Do they squash? No. This is so bad, isn't it? I mean, one game though that nobody could screw up surely is Rick Dangerous. I mean, that was pretty much standard on every uh, every machine. Have you played Zub? Says David. No, I haven't played Zub. And Edwin is like, come on, Cyberball, man. All right, I tell you what, I'm going to put the list onto the C section. Right, it's on the C section. I think C-section was a game, wasn't it? Right. Oh, there's some kind of half-decent sound, too. Bollocks. I like that there's actually Chuck Yeager's advanced something for this game. I can't believe there's a Chuck Yeager's game on a, on a Spectrum. Right, what's the jump? So that's Crawl. Here we go. Now, this is one of those games where you just got to remember everything because there's just so many booby traps and stuff. That was fair. Yeah. Oh. So this is Rick Dangerous. <laughs> Castardo has no love for Rick. Is it because it's just too hard in general, Castardo? It's not a fun game. It's just... You... The way I've died now is pretty much the way you die the whole time. And considering on the NES and stuff, surely, didn't you already have Mega Man and stuff out at this time? Oh, balls to that. Right. Cyberball. Cyberball. Play Cyberball, man. Right, so ABC. Where is the Y? It's right at the end. X, Y, Z. Cyber. Cybernoid. Cyberzone. Cyberball by Domark. Sounds good. Oh, and it's a Tengen game. Mm. Interesting. Oh, no. Sports. Yeah, you're right, Castardo. It was just those traps all the time. So you're playing some sort of robot thing. Hello. What you up to? What do you think of this game? Does this look good? Yes. Is it better than Zelda? Is it better than Metroid? Yes. What? Oh, it's better than Metroid. Are you sure? Yeah. I'm it does feel like American football with robots. Incomplete pass. Is it better than everything? Oh, okay. But if that was good, what about this game's going to blow your mind? What about this game? Is this better? It's my ears melting. <laughs> oh my god, look at this! <laughs> Better than everything. <laughs> oh my life, that's terrible. That is a bad game. 
Castardo, this is the game for you. The Castardo Kid. Nice. Castardo, Castardo is running down the stairs. Okay, got left and right really worked out. Here we go. Looking for his custard. Mm -mm. Gonna get me some custard with a whole lot of milk. <laughs> Castardo, you like this, do you? <laughs> what is he supposed to do then? He loves custard, as we all do. So I think he's uh, if it's effectively like a Mission Impossible. You're like searching for the keys. Why? I don't know how the metric yeah, mechanism for picking up works, but. I'm sure there's a drop button if you go and search for it. Those doors don't seem to be passable right now. And Castardo um, says it looks just like your house. The ca Casa. Your, your Macasa. Yeah, these are. Yeah. Look at the skeletons. He's like a lounging skeleton. Just to get. It's terrible. There's not yet one game that's blown me, blown my socks off just yet. Um. Oh, we were going to look for FD Pod. God, I think I remember this. This this was like ported on loads of systems, Cybernoid. We're going to try Ethnipod as well. Oh, in the face. This feels like a sequel to that other one. No more bombs. Balls. It's tricky as hell, isn't it? So Casada says, honestly, there are very few games on the specy that will blow your socks off. Ow. Oh. I mean, it's just the fact that, look at this thing. Like, you can't... It relies so much on random skill. You know what I mean? It's not like even... Skills that you don't want to develop. Ah, no. Right, we're gonna have a look at the look list real quick. To see if there's Ethnipod. Ethnipod. No. Oh well. It's a shame. It's like a magazine cover disc. Um. And you remember you telling me that someone had contacted him years later via email to ask him, is that you made that? Oh, come on, Spectrum, have something. Ghosts and goblins? Was there a ghosts and goblins? No. What else? Lots going on in the chat. I was just having a little read there. I do apologise. McBeam, evening. Long time, yeah. And it's it's. I'm not I'm not sure there's much more for me to stream at the minute. My brain is hurting. There's so many pa painfully bad games so far we've tried. 
James, I think you guys survived survived well because of it, to be honest with you. Right. Up, down, left, right. Stab, shoot. Oh, that was a stupid. No, I'm not happy that was a stupid. Up, down, left, right. Stab, shoot. Yes. Now, remember, we had this on the NES, right? Dun, dun, dun. Oh, that's Monty on the run. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, no! Wah. Yeah, I've definitely played worse games than that, and that's just in this stream alone. He's doing good. No, that was unfair. That was uncalled for. Oh man. It doesn't quite have the playability of the Nintendo Entertainment System one, but you know. It's having a go, like. I like how they just turn into skeletons. A stab to the gut is all it takes, turn you into a skeleton. That's how hard he is. Oh no. Yeah, if it didn't have the um have the flickeriness, I think it wouldn't be too bad really. It does make you wonder how they were sort of doing the screen buffering to sort of get that get it that flicky really. I guess they they had to Oh there is I think there is at the bottom. I think there is mines on the bottom. It's just they're just flickery mines. Costada says, did you, oh, did you click slow update from the emulation menu? Um, no, I don't, I don't know what I picked. What, what, tell, tell me Costado, what should we try that? We'll try it. Slow render. Okay, slow render, what was that game called that we just did? Or was it just? Okay, I don't think it's done anything, but then I think it's fair that I probably have to um, reload the game. What was this called? Was it Green Beret, right? Green, Green Beret. So I'm thinking tonight, I might um, use the opportunity. See you, Craig. Enjoy. Enjoy your dinner. Um... I might watch some of that. What was that show called again? Uh, Naked Attraction. Because, I don't know if you've seen Naked Attraction, but it's basically a really good show if you like betting. Um, I'm not really that bothered about betting, but Naked Attraction is a show you want to bet on. And uh, I don't know if anyone in the chat wants to type out the premise slightly. No, it's still flickery. It's flickery as hell. Um, basically you get a man or a woman is the contestant and they have to choose to go on a date with up to um, there's I think five people or six people they get to choose from but it's a bit like kind of strip poker first they see their like legs they you know like they you know they're up to the knees and then they see their um, you know crotch area nude and then they sort of comment and go yeah I like the look of that I don't like the look of that cock's too big fanny's too small whatever and um, then they see like the boobs of the chest and then the face and then they talk to them and each, each one of those is like a round and they have to sort of pretend that they're like oh yeah I really like the tattoos and um, we um, we basically uh, I like to sort of bet through that because I can I can tell you what I can just um, I'm playing along with my wife and I say to her it's gonna be this one or that one and it, it's it's often really easy to choose and you say well how do you know how do you know he's gonna choose her oh yeah you were right because that 
it's only based on pretty much looks, right? That show. So if you're going to choose, most people are not going to choose a fat one or a hairy one or someone with loads of scars or whatever. They're going to choose the most superficial reasons, right? Um, and sometimes are a little bit. Some people on that are a little bit um, clever, so they'll choose some some like you know overweight ones or something to add to their last rounds, but then kind of reject them just so they don't look shallow. But it's it tries to give this sort of scientific thing as as the show's going on. But basically, it is like a friggin' cattle market, and um, you know you know who it's going to just be. Um, and sometimes in this last season, um, they're actually getting them. They're kind of interacting with the contestants a bit more. And they go, "Oh, do you like that ass?" And they're like, "Yeah." And they go, "Oh, would you like to kiss it?" And it's like, "Oh, yeah." And they go, "Can you kiss your ass or something?" And they do it. And they do all sorts of like gross things like that. Or get them to dance around a bit. It's it's kind of horrific because it's horrific because it's normal people and you kind of know what normal people are like when you look in the mirror, right? Not gross, but not models, right? We're just n we're normal people. I don't want to see normal people on telly. Um, we're horrible. Um, but maybe it's 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 what these millennials like to watch. We had Blind Date with Scylla Black. I mean, that was back in the day. Do you remember that? Was that was Blind Date and Surprise Surprise on at the same... I think they it was like literally... Wasn't it Blind Date one night and Surprise Surprise the next? Or something? Scylla Black was on... Um, was um, on all the time. I think she's dead now, though. That's how that's how they're allowed to release all these formats. <laughs> so yeah, if you have got uh, more four or four on demand or whatever it's called, yeah, give it a go and um, see if I'm wrong. And if you have seen the show, put down in the comments if I'm right. Do you think the, it's always the ones? tend to go for the thin it's always the thin girls with a pretty face and maybe a piercing a sexy piercing and with the guys it's always the guys who are covered in muscles and talk like a man talk like a real man I'm John and I'm a builder <laughs> blind date oh I tell you this is actually a good game I um you know I've I can put up with this and I think the reason this is a good game is that it controls well so if you just forget the um, you know the sound or graphics the flicker and it, it's actually pretty good good right I think we're on we're on a roll now we're on a roll of one so we've got jet set willy um, there's so many jet set willies here look some are so some are they've got really is your favorite youtuber Push return. Oh, this is a a clone. Weird. It's like the original Jet Set Willy wasn't bad enough, so they had to write their own. Why am I playing this? Okay, anyway, enough Jet Set Willy nonsense. I wonder if they did North and South. North and South. Come on. Okay, on now. Start, stab to start. <laughs> yeah, very London. <laughs> Zynaps. Castado wants Zynaps, so let's try that then. Zinaps, Zinaps, made by a real company. Mm. Okay, enough. Enough with the music. Prepare for combat. Okay. Shoot. That was up. Surprise scarily. Oh, there's no down. 
I've got an up but no down. What the heck? L is going up. If you're playing along at home, I know I'm not great at games, but I'm not this bad. No down, guys. It can it be done? <laughs> Castardo says, I'm sure there's a down. I think you're right. There's definitely got to be a down, right? I can't even start the bloody game. Up. Lots of up. I've got all the up I could want. I'm going to try the number keys. No, nope, arrow keys not working. Uh, down is six, by the way. I think it's set for joystick. That's the problem, isn't it? If you've got six as down and seven as up, what would be shoot? Yeah, it's all set for like what I think is the joystick. I can probably... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, right. I can probably control it. But I probably can't uh, play it because I can't shoot. I'll have a little. I'll have another go. See if we can do a speed run. Yeah, I can maybe zero to fire. That is crazy. Imagine play. I'm playing the game with the whole, all the keys on the number of keys. Ugh. T L L. Remember that. This is all right, though, isn't it? I mean, it's quite pretty. Yeah. Ah, no. Even with the uh, keys. Look at that. Look at that. He's going for it. That is hard work, guys. Absolutely hard work. There's a lot of games here, by the way, with ZX in front of them in the list. ZX Mine, ZX Gorilla, ZX Poker. Z -Z Zoom. Z -Z Zoom. I'm not joking, that's what it's called. What? What? How smooth was that scrolling? Yeah, Castardo, I'm not sure this, this thing this emulator, it's that web based. Oh my gosh. L it's so lame. I'm not sure this uh, ZX emulator, it's a sort of web browser emulator, is pretty lame. Uh, oh, I like columns though. This is like one of my favourite games. Yeah, yeah, I want to play columns. Oh man, that's got in insta drop. Doo -doo -doo. How do I rotate? Let's pause. Okay, I did spaces rotate. Do 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 that's the uh, Mega Drive version, by the way. I did the theme tune. Um, I've set the worst keys known to man. I've set rotate as space and, and down as, as um, drop, but it just doesn't seem to work right. It's expecting you to use like more like a down as a rotate and space as the, the final, final countdown. So McBeam, this is um, J Bacteria. And the link is in the uh, chat description. And it's a browser based um, emulator with all of the games already kind of to go. So you don't need to do any faffing or get playing with tapes. I mean, to be honest with you, we'd have spent about 10 hours playing the games today if we were on, on tapes. We're not playing them, just loading them. We'd already given up for now. Ah, but there you go. I think it is time for me to go spend some time with my children, to be honest with you, before they go. But actually, um, I will try this one game because it is good. XOR is one of my favourite games on the BBC Micro, so if there's any chance it's good on here, this could be a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Come on. 
And if you haven't tried XOR on the whatever platform, try it. Oh, the graphics are huge. So up, down, left and right, I'm sure. Yeah. Nice. This is looking fun. And how do we switch between... Yep. Yeah. So carriage return shifts between your two characters. Your two are represented by those shields. And they have to get all of these masks um, and then find the exit. But they've got different sort of properties on which direction they can go through these walls. If you find maze pieces, you can see in the top right corner the sort of maze is being uncovered bit by bit. Um, and I'm not really quite sure on the rules. You see, like I can't go horizontally through some stuff and other stuff you can. It's weird. It's just dig up the instructions somewhere, figure it out. So if you hit a carriage return, then you go to your other player, basically. And there. And you kind of work together. It's a bit like uh, one of those games you used to get on the NES where you'd mappy or something. And <laughs> you'd have to kind of work together. But there is a move limit, and I can't remember what it is. If it's maybe it's, it's I'm hoping it's not like 500 moves because that'd be a bit too low, I think. And you can see in the middle of the screen, it's got you your mask count, and that's how many you're trying to achieve. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. I'm going to do the worst far ever. That's that's what I'm going to definitely do when some hacks. I'm going to go and eat some really things horrible food and do that teach him a lesson he'll never forget wipe the smile off their faces oh look at that we're doing good we're doing good and then as you progress through this game it, it's you start getting these different challenges um, because there's sort of chickens for example and chickens are a bit like boulders in Boulder Dash, but they always move to the left of the screen. And you get fish, I think, and I fish, think fish drop down, you know, towards the bottom of the screen under the power of gravity. So um, it's always a challenge. And this looks great. And I, I think it's, again, it's, it's some games on the spectrum look really good if they just sort of lend themselves, not being too detailed, and working with the um, limitations of the attribute system. Um, because you you couldn't guess at all playing this that there's any kind of um, limitation with the color system at all. I would like though if you if, I wish your map could show you on it where you are. I mean, I can't for the life of me figure out where we are compared to the bloody map. Good. So you can see this shield can go through the green thing sideways for sure. That we've already done that. Oh, are we nearly there? Are we nearly there? Ashens is streaming on Twitch. Everybody leaves. <laughs> ah! I tell you what, I, I, I haven't caught one of his streams for a while, but I found it really tedious because the chat was like zoom, 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 zoom. Um, and it was... Um, See you, Edwin. Enjoy your book. Um, and it was it was irritating me because I couldn't read anything, but I was trying to. I don't know if you've ever done that where you're trying to um, um, do that. Oh, come on. Nope, 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 nope. Come on, I'm going to die if I'm not careful. Run out of moves. So, yeah, it's a good game anyway. You get the idea, right? It's a bit like a kind of a puzzler crossed with maybe a bit of Repton or something like that. I guess our shields seem to have the same limits. You know, I can't go through that either. There, there we go. Yeah. So, guys, I think that probably is a good time to draw a close to the day. Um, just a quick note before I, I go. I... Um, have basically offloaded all of my YouTube videos. So before, because I do a lot of traveling and things, I used to just do quite a bunch of videos and then sort of store them as it were, and then just deliver them, let them YouTube schedule them out a few a week, like three a week. And what was happening was that there was just so many um, uh, of them that I just was getting frustrated because I, I kind of want to do something. Like for example, I want to fix this clock, right? This clock's broken. And 
I'd like to talk to people on Discord about me fixing this clock, and then I want you to see the video of me fixing this clock. There's no point fixing this clock if the video comes out two months later. It's just annoying. So, um, <laughs> win some hacks, yeah. The TV companies are losing out to me. Um, so what I did is I, I basically got all of my videos, and I just, you saw in the week, um, a few days, I just scheduled them all to just drop out on the same same day effectively. And that's why you might have suddenly got a whole a whole bunch of them. Ooh, this is good. Actually good. An actual good good game. Sorry, I just thought getting back drawn back into it. Well no, I getting drawn bloody back into playing Spectrum games. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, Xenon is definitely a, a winner winner. Winner winner chicken dinner. Um, so Floating Fatman says that's why the spam well it wasn't really spam I mean I, I, I tend to publish on my own network as it were but yeah I do apologise if it was 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 doing that um, and I can uh, I'm just going to have a quick look in the YouTube window and I'll tell you I'll tell you about that but it's definitely yeah there's definitely some more coming out tomorrow um and definitely the day after. And then after that, it's all just me real time, by the way. And has anybody seen... I want to show you something if you haven't seen it. Um, where is it? Look at this. Do, 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 do. I'm going to show you. Look at that. Merch. So if you're curious, if you're merch curious, there is a back office merch store where I think things are pretty reasonable. I mean, they're probably as cheap as one is likely to be able to make it sensibly. Um, but if if you ever wanted a back of his tea in the famous royal, royal blue, um, they're, they're available. But check this out. Check this out. Right, so there's the back of his tea in the, uh, the, the, flame, the flameless long, 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 but Oh no, it's not here. There is. There is. If you can find it. How do you get it? Is it you have to click on one of my videos, Baza? Hang on. There's something really funny. I want to show you this. I've got to find one of my own videos. I'm just I'm just I'm literally finding one of my own videos in just the other window. Um there is a range of things though. So there's hoodies and there's tank tops and all of that. In different colours as well. You've got a few different colour choices. But um I'm trying to find one of my own videos. There we go. There we go. That's what we want. That's what we want to buy. We want to buy... Yeah, the leggings. That's it. It's the leggings. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Mm -mm -mm. If you want to go to be the envy of your yoga class, all you lady back officers... Um, actually, and I do... I do I do kind of wear running leggings myself, but these these are far too sexy for a boy. Um, get to wear the all new back office leggings. Come on, that's a winner in anybody's book. I hope to see one day someone wearing them, and if not, maybe some nice back office socks. Wow, there's a zoom. Oh, well, the zoom doesn't really do much on that size, does it? But yeah, <laughs> and you can see I designed it with the back office logo just under the sexy navel. That's what you want, of course. And then if you are uh, a lady, a lady uh, um, exerciser, you can have a lady cut. And there's some lady cut tees actually. So it's you see a woman's shape too, the woman's classic tee. But I quite like these. I mean, I kinda. I think I might even go for one of these, but I don't know. I'd, I'd have to. I'd kind of like the. This is the back office royal blue, but I don't know. Navy. If you if you're a, a working pers person, uh, the navy is I think a, maybe a better option because the royal blue is a bit leery. But look at the green. Greens and khakis look amazing in the back office logo. So when I was making some of those things myself, um, James says put a link in the description. I think there might be one, but I'm just definitely going to put a link everywhere. Um, oh, a link. In, uh, yeah, yeah, you want a link. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You want a link to the leggings. Here you go. Here's the link to the leggings. <laughs> but I don't know why, um, Why, for, for example, the 
the the regular links are showing these these are youtube exclusive so if you click it seems if you click via any other means um they won't come up you have to click via one of the youtube links to get hold of your back office sexy sexy leggings for your model lady and uh what, I, I, what are we sort of talking about this i might have to get one of those gigs on fiverr where i i send these off to one of those uh ladies in uh, eastern europe who'll pose and send back product um placement photos so uh boom james says yeah gotta get the wife though she has the bum for it go for it i mean i don't even see if there's a size here hang on buy it now oh there is a size extra small small medium large or extra large so james your lady will be going for a small no doubt no doubt at all so thank you so much for watching it has been a blast and i tell you what i started out this evening with a headache and a migraine and feeling miserable and i said i want to go online and play some games with my friends and that i have done and uh, I do uh, apologise for those who just joined late the stream or, or still up for it. Oh, she's tall. Nice. Nice, Jane. Very nice indeed. Um, thanks so much for your uh, discourse on the Discord. And um, stay tuned. Some kits are on their way. Uh, however, everybody else on Discord has been posting them and they have been... Um, hitting those before me oh and there is one last one by the way one last thing to, to to of note i have been playing with the odroid go so if you're an odroid go fan on the old discord jump jump in there we've basically um we've made a program for it for lack of a better word and it's it's for the dac hat yeah and what it is We've got a um, synthesizer now that's synthesizing any frequency, especially all the frequencies computers need. And the idea is you can load this up with all your tape files, plug in your DAC into your retro computer like your ZX Spectrum and literally choose the game you want from here. Maybe you can have the cover art, everything and click play, play, and it will play like a cassette player from here into your um, retro computer and then you can load up all these games all these games we've been playing today we'll be able to do from that follow it in the uh odroid channel on my uh discord and you'll see the work that chrissy's done a lot of work on this and we've got that that humming away so yeah check out that project we'll put that on github at some point but making the odroid do that and also an offshoot for that means of course the odroid can be a signal generator for those of you with an oscilloscope and want some nice cool debugging features again odroid hat output that and you've got some nice signal generator action there i think that that is a good bit of information for you now go enjoy the rest of your evening thanks for watching much love goodbye